back to Edible Whole Foods. You know, no Southern party would be complete without a block of cream cheese and some really great pepper jelly on it. But there's just so many other things that you can do with this jelly. And I've brought Peggy Rose of Peggy Rose's Pepper Jelly. She's here with me today. And I'm going to show her a little trick with some duck breast. And she's going to tell us about pepper jelly. Yes. Oh, I'm so glad to be here. Thanks for inviting me. This is my local Whole Foods, being from Wake Forest. I um, am a farmer's daughter and learned to make jelly very young. And this is my favorite pepper jelly. And I have sweet pepper jelly, too. And they're just um, good party, uh, traditional Southern-style pepper jellies. And what we like to say is it's everyday gourmet that you can use for other things like pork, wonderful on a roasted pork, mm -hmm. and uh, fish. And um, any kind of vegetable or meat, you can stir fry to make it caramelize. Oh. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna elevate it a little bit more. Uh -huh. We're gonna do it on duck breast. And we first gotta make a little glaze. The duck breast we're gonna grill, and it's got some uh, thyme, mixture of thyme and rosemary on it. So we've, we've grilled it to get the skin crispy and reduce the fat. All right, and here I've got some shallots, primarily, a little bit of garlic, and then I've used a, a veal demi-glace which you can find either in frozen or you can also find a, a uh, non-refrigerated product to develop the sauce itself. Mm -hmm. Veal demi gloss is nothing but veal bones have been cooked and cooked and cooked and cooked and cooked, and cooked until you almost have a syrup. Mm -hmm. Now, but the crowning touch and what makes this so, so very good is we're gonna put in some of your hot pepper jelly. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're not a big heat freak, you could use the green pepper jelly. True. Not as hot, but I kind of, I kind of like the way that this falls across this. Now, is this recipe your recipe, Mama's recipe? Well, we I started in 1976, really, because the girls at school, being education 26 years, uh, asked me to make it and put it in the lounge. That was my first. Uh, venue and um, so we have just, school teachers to thank for this. <laughs> and what what I did was just sold it during the holidays or whatever and gave gave some away. But that's okay. how I started. But like I say, we you know when you live on a farm with acres and acres of produce that comes to the farmers market for in the 40s and 50s, whatever you have, you put up. If you were born and raised on a farm, you know how to make jelly by the time you're nine. So that's where my my Define that putting up statement because there might be viewers I, out there. I that did don't know like what this. That is. Yeah. Canning. Uh, later we didn't get a freezer until, you know, the fifties, but you you put it up to preserve it for the winter of the rest of the year. And that was typical southern. That's right. That's typical southern. southern. And that's right. just what my family did, you know, and right. and you uh, have sustainability from it. Anything that we needed to have for the winter. Sure. All right. I'll tell you what I did after I put your jelly in here mm. is I'm sort of gilding the lily. Yeah. And I'm putting the, some butter in. And once you put butter in a sauce like this, you, you kind of want to swirl it in. Um, I almost it recommend air, that the viewers maybe even pull this off the heat and let the residual heat do this so the butter does not break. And we've just about got it to where we want it. So you want to taste this I stuff? I do, I do, please. All right, I'm going to reach over here and get us a piece of duck. Okay. It looks wonderful. I'll hold that for you. Take that up like that. Yep. Yum. Mmm, smells good. And did we do your pepper jelly justice? Oh, we did. Thank you, Fred. That's wonderful. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Thank you for making this pepper jelly. <laughs> Join us next week on Edible Whole Foods. We'll be cooking up something else and grab you some pepper jelly and put it on something besides cream cheese. And southern style. Southern style. You got it. <laughs>